Hello and welcome to my page. And if you are new here, my name is Kalia Nari. And on here we talk about fragrance layering and different fragrances that I have in my collection. Um, I also have an Instagram account. Over there we have a ton of fun. So I would love for you not only to follow me on YouTube, but also follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you. I enjoy all the times that we spend together. Today's topic, we're going to stay in the Middle Eastern realm. Um, I have a few more that I want to talk about today, and this will be a mixture. I don't I don't have a particular uh, particular brand. I just, it's a mixture of fragrances from a different brands, but they all have their own place in my collection. If this is something you're interested in, then stay tuned. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off with the ones that you have to be very comfortable with this particular brand uh, because all of their fragrances is absolutely beast mode. So these are not for the faint of hearts. Uh, the two that I have in my collection is going to be from the Swap line and I'll have the name listed at the bottom as I go through these since it's a wide variety of brands. Uh, so let's start off with the first one. The first one in my collection is Massive. Massive is just that. It is such a in-your-face, will meet you, will be in the room before you get to the room fragrance. It is earthy. The opening on this one is so earthy. It's, it's earthy. It is wood. This can lean masculine. Um, I would truly tell you I am trying to work my way through this one. I have to often soften this one with another fragrance uh, because the opening is just that it's cedar. Like it's just wood, spices, and then there's dry fruit. But that dry fruit, you have to get to in the dry down. It does not come off in the very beginning. It is just musk, patchouli, cedar, and jasmine that's this one here and it's massive and the fragrance speaks for itself it is a massive fragrance the name of it is massive it's in the black bottle so if you go to get this one and i'll try to have this one listed at the bottom to tell you where i got mine from um be aware that you have to like woody fragrances for this one okay the next one i have from that line uh, it's a it's a long name on it, but I want to say it's Kyle All. I'm not even gonna mess it up. I have it listed at the very bottom, so you know what the words are. It is also from the Swalif line. This one here is it's a lot better. It's a lot better of a fragrance. Um, I will admit I did get this one for the packaging. That gold just set beautifully in my whole gold section, and luckily I happen to actually like the fragrance. This one is fruity. So it's like you get a lot of black currant, you get a lot of apple, you get a lot of iris. Um, but the opening in this one too, that opening is in your face. It is like a smack in your face um, fragrance. The When you first spray it, you get rose, you get jasmine immediately, like immediately. So you have to like that. You have to like rose and jasmine. Then it settles down. Like right now, I sprayed this prior to doing this particular one. And the, the dry down is where it's gorgeous. It's where I, I fell in love with it. That's where you get the black currant, the apple, the iris, the sandalwood, the amber. It's just a sexy, seductively wrap you up fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. But these, this particular line here, be very careful because this line is massive. Like the fragrance we spoke of before. It is beast mode. This is going to be on you all day till you take a shower. <laughs> it's going to be in the clothes that you wore. And you're going to have to probably send it when you send it to the cleaners or pre-wash it. It is going to last on you. This is at least a 10 to 12 hour fragrance. All right. This one here is actually a clone for Creed's Creed Her, right? 
this one and it's it's it's, it's close it's it's nice i won't say that it's an exact dupe for it but it is close it's um it it has all the openings it has the pineapple the black currant the berries that you would get in creed her and i'll list them both um on the side that you can see it um the the freesia and the rose is present it's close but because i know what creed her smells like then is why I say that this is just close. This is just a close scent. It is um, it's gorgeous. So if you want to not have to spend that Creed price, um, then go ahead and get this one. You can get it on Amazon actually for a really affordable price. And it'll give you the same scent. It'll give you everything that Creed Her gave you. Is that that um that iridescence of the of the citrus is just it's a gorgeous spring scent. And I promise you, if you wear this fragrance, no one's going to know if you wore this version of it or if you actually wore Creed Her. This one, it's, it's great. It's a gorgeous scent. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, only thing I can say that if you have smelled the original, the one that this is cloning, then you would you would know the difference. I believe that you would know the difference. I know some people say that you don't, but in, to my nose, I do know the difference between the original and this one. Does not discredit this fragrance. This is a gorgeous fragrance and it's affordable. So go get it. Okay, the next one I have is a clone also, and it is by um, Fragrance World. This one by Fragrance World is, is it's an exact dupe. In my, in my opinion, it is an exact dupe. Um... I would like to have the initial side side effect in my collection. I don't personally think I need it because after effect by Fragrance World is so point on, right? And it's such a large bottle. And I think I got this bottle for like $55, which is different than the price that you would get for a side effect. But you get it. You get everything that you would get in side effect. It is the rum, the vanilla, and the tobacco, it's gorgeous. It's nothing nothing outside of spectacular. And it's affordable. It's an affordable price. And when you wear this, everyone's going to say, oh, you smell great. It is just, to me, it's, it hits a nail on the head. I know that people have other opinions about it, but this is a boozy, rum, smoky fragrance. It's absolutely gorgeous is it's a, it's a great price. It has so many checks in the right boxes for me. But this one is called After Effect. Um and yep, they did. They copied the bottle and everything, you know. I will say that Fragrance World and La Tapa often do the same thing. They they duplicate the bottle. So I've had people to mistakenly not know what the initial bottle looks like exactly and see it in my collection and believe that that's the initial bottle, but it's not. It's the, but it's still a great fragrance. I am I have it in my collection and I'm not even ashamed because it is absolutely beautiful. Right, the next one I have in my collection is by Al Harman and it is Rewa. Rewa or Re. Rawa. I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I mean, again, I always speak about how gorgeous, how much work they put into these presentations. That is such a beautiful, elegant bottle. But the fragrance itself is when I want coffee. This to me is an easy coffee scent. It really is. It's an easy coffee scent. Um, I will say this, be very careful with clothes. You see how dark that juice is? Um, I would not recommend spraying this on your clothes, spray it on your body, allow it to settle, and then um, put your clothes on. Anything light or pastel, I believe that this would stain. But outside of that, this is just, uh, it's almond, it's coffee, it's tuberose, it's um, orris, it's cacao pod. It's a yummy scent it's a yummy scent when i want to have something coffee on when i want to wear my fragrances that are in my coffee collection and i'm just in the vibe of coffee this is one of the ones that i reach for and i spray on and i get it i really get it it's not the um morning coffee your folgers morning coffee scent it is just like it's great it's almond it's like an almond hazelnutty to it is 
uh, cacao pod makes it kind of candy like um, the vanilla and the tonka bean works great together. The only gripe I have, if there is a gripe about this fragrance and how sexy I think this fragrance is, is just be very careful with clothes. I have actually ruined a shirt I was in love with because I sprayed myself going out and was running late. So I hurried up and put my clothes on and then I had like this reddish stain on my shirt and I couldn't figure out what it was. But when I smelt it to see if maybe I waste wine or something on myself, it was this fragrance and it was still going strong. So it was a good and a bad for me, but it did stain my clothes. So that's my only gripe is be very careful with spraying this one because it will stain. Okay, and to round off the discussion today on Middle Eastern fragrances, I have an our, our niche one and it's called Red Ruby. And red ruby is another one that's dark. The juice is dark. So you have to be kind of cautious with this one too. But this one is like a citrus um, floral mixture. Um, I, I, I wish I had better words to explain it. It's, it opens up with orange. Like you're going to get that orange as soon as it opens. And then the, the lily of the valley, the um, tuberose comes in. And then it kind of settles on your skin with some um vanilla and some sandalwood but throughout the fragrance it's just citrus it's a lot of citrus so this one i wear in the spring because i feel like it'll project in that sunlight where it's not too hot yet is it i mean it's a it's a pretty scent i can see many women smell like this i want to say this is um this could be office appropriate only because it doesn't last very long. This one here, uh, it, even as gorgeous as this bottle is, it doesn't have great longevity on my skin. So I think you can wear this to the office because by the time you spray yourself, make it into the door and the air hits it, it'll settle down and you'll get some lychee. You'll get more fruits, more fruits with some floral notes in the background. Is what I believe. In my opinion, I think that this fragrance would give for you. Um, it is a gorgeous bottle. It looks very pretty in a collection. Um, it stands out in, in my little red section that I have. But it's not a it's not a constant reach. Um, it's one of them that I just haven't worn it in a while. As you see that, it still looks full. I haven't worn it in a while, so I'll reach for it just so that I can give it some wear. But it's not one of the ones that I reach for constantly. And that is red ruby all right so today we talked about a group of middle eastern fragrances if you are enjoying this topic then tell me about it in the comments so i can keep going i think i have two more uh fragrance houses that i have at least four or four so this these are not all of them Middle Eastern fragrances to me is about affordability with longevity. The fragrances are gorgeous. Yes, they do sometimes clone fragrances. Uh, but in my opinion, I don't know if they per se clone them. Um, because some of them came out before the big name fragrances came out. But that's a whole nother topic. If you are enjoying this fragrance journey that I'm going on with you as I talk about the fragrances that I have in my collection, tell me about it in the chat. I would love to communicate with you. But until the next time, I'll see you in the next video.